today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial. I wore this look on my Battle of the Brands video, I believe, and I asked to see if you guys maybe wanted me to recreate it. And a bunch of you said yes, so I went ahead and recreated the look. As you know, I used my Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. Let me grab it, it's right over here. Ooh. So it's just this one right here. So this is the only color that I've messed with so far. It's a really pretty like chrome-ish type of color. It's like green, but it has some brown undertones. It's I don't know, it's such a pretty color. I was shopping the other day um, at Walmart and I saw this and this one really caught my eye so that's why I got it. Wet n Wild is so inexpensive. I believe I paid around 3 or 4 dollars for this and it's really really pretty. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you do recreate it. If you do, you can uh, tag me on Instagram, just do hashtag OMG Lashes. Make sure that your profile is not private, otherwise I will not be able to see any of your wonderful recreations. So I think that is everything guys. Um, leave me your request on what other videos you guys would like to see and I will see you guys next time. So I am first applying this Pretty Lid Primer all over my eyes just to ensure primer doesn't move or makeup doesn't move. Then I'm going in with my NYX eyeshadow base in the color Skin Tone. You guys know that I live by this. So I'm just going to take a fluffy synthetic brush and apply that all over my lids. Then I'm going to take this gorgeous eyeshadow by Makeup Geek. This is in the color Creme Brulee. And I will be applying this on the upper corner of my crease and blending that out. Then I will be taking Coco Bear by Makeup Geek as well. And I'm also going to be combining this color right here. It's Sienna by the Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. Um, I think that one was the... I can't remember. I will leave it linked down below. But I'm pretty much just going to be applying that on my lid as well, on my crease. Then I'm going to take Shimmer Shimmer, also by Makeup Geek, and I will be applying that as my brow, uh, brow bow, oh my gosh, brow bone highlight. There we go. Then I'm going to go in and use this NYX Milk Pencil. This is just going to intensify the color of the lid. And then I'm going to go in with that color right there. It's just a definer color, it doesn't have a specific color, but... As you guys know, it's from that Comfort Zone palette by Wet n Wild. And then I'm going to just pack it on my lid. Then taking that shadow brush again and just blending out all the lines just so we don't have any harsh lines between our crease and our other colors. So make sure you blend everything out. And I go back with this big old fluffy brush. It's actually a concealer brush by e.l.f. But I just use it to blend out my uh, eyeshadow. And then I'm going to apply my false lashes and my eyeliner. Then I'm going to go back with that eyeshadow base by NYX. And I'm going to apply it to the lower lash line. Because I will be applying more of those brown colors underneath the lower lash line. And as always, I will be taking my Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser by Maybelline and I will just be applying that to the problematic areas, which is where I have the most pores and just kind of spreading it all over my face. Then I'm going to take this Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation, which I have been testing out and I love it. I am definitely going to get the full size bottle once I run out of this. And as always, just taking a sibling brush and I will just... Uh, buff that out Then I'm going to take my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and my Beauty Blender and I will be applying my concealer and also just blending it out to my chin, the bridge of my nose and then the middle of my forehead 
Then I'm going to take this color right there, or maybe this color, or maybe this color, or maybe all three. I don't know. But this will be our setting powder. I got this palette off of eBay. I will leave a link to down below if you guys are interested. It's pretty cool. I really, really like it. It has some other like blush colors and like bronzing colors. Then I'm gonna, uh, then I'm gonna take my Fit Me powder. I know it looks a little bit yellow on camera, and I promise that on me, like when I see it on myself, I think it looks pretty good. It doesn't look as like mustardy. I don't know. I really like it though. I've been enjoying it, and this has been my go-to bronzing type of powder. Next, I'm going to take this e.l.f. blush, and this is in the color Candid Coral, and I will just be applying that right on top of that bronzer that I just applied, and just blending it out with my blush brush. This is my Soho blush brush. This is a really pretty color, and I just got it the other day. It's about $3. Then I'm going to take my Maybelline Master Highlights, and this is in the color Nude, I believe. And with this big fan brush, I got this off of Sedona Lace, and then applying it to the highlights of my cheekbones. And then we are taking something from back here. Oh yeah, our mascara. This is the Maybelline Pumped Up Mascara and then I will be applying it to my lower lash line. Then we are gonna go in with lips. I am taking Max Night Moth and then I'm just going to be lining my lips. I know they look a little bit chapped, but YOLO. After I've lined my lips, I will be taking in my Maybelline <laughs> Matte Lipstick in the color Divine Wine. It's by that new like matte uh, line that they have. Um, so yeah, after you have done that, you are pretty much done with the look. Super cute, super quick and simple. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I shall see you guys in my next video. Adios!